Danny, it's all draw today. What's your thoughts on the performance? Um, it's a tough one, to be fair, because you, you're, you're pleased with the lads for, for coming back from behind twice, but we had the chances to win the match, and I think that's that's the disappointing thing today. However, I think two weeks ago, we'd have probably ended up losing it. Um, with that going with that goal behind and then going 2 1 down again. So the lads showed great character, and I thought, although we kept them relatively at bay, I thought our second half performance was much better and we, we created more than enough chances to, to take all three points. Exactly that. So it was an unchanged side with the team that played against South End. Obviously, a few different players on the bench today. It was a good start from us, but it was a bit of a sucker punch from them for their first goal with Jackson scoring the opening goal. Yeah, we just switched off, and like the, the, their front three were lively, to be fair. Um, and if, if, you, if you're not focused, you, they've got players that will that will hurt you. Um, from my perspective, we weren't worried. We weren't worried because we knew that we, we we've got more to give, and we did that second half. We we we, uh, we, we stepped it up, and then we get sucker punched again because we were total control of the game, and then we get give away a. Uh, a goal from a throw-in and the more frustrating thing is we've defended the throw-ins really well so far so again switching off and not doing your job properly you're going to get punished and just a word on the long throw as well is that something you're expecting is that something you've done yeah we knew, we knew like, and as I said I think other than other than the goal which is uh, which is obviously the, the, the whole point of their throw-ins they had probably what 12, 13, 14 throw-ins and we defended every single one perfectly well it's just we had we had someone switch off, didn't get back in early enough, and then obviously he gets the free run to go and head it in the post. Obviously, you come to a pitch like this one, and it's a little bit different in terms of it's a bit of a slant, <laughs> a bit of a smaller pitch. Did that play a part in the in the plans for today? It's, it's, it's a very difficult pitch to play on. Uh, it's very it's hard for the fans to actually see it, but it's the, the the quality of the grass is great, but it's not watered. And you'd have seen it with some of the players at times when they were dribbling and it gets stuck under their feet. And even even the one where Jaden presses the goalkeeper, I think on a normal pitch that goes in. But you watch the ball, it rolls and rolls to a stop um, because the pitch was so sticky. So it was difficult conditions to play in today. As nice as the pitch looks, it was hard to play on. We spoke about obviously you know, two weeks ago we would have lost that game and to see the game out, maybe get a point away from home. It's always something that is said in football. You know, you grow your away games, win your home games. And that's something you'll be taking into momentum moving forwards. Yeah, I think that the way we're at the minute, it's just about putting points on the board wherever you go, whether we're at home or away. And we've we've got we've got a couple of real tough home games coming up. We, we play. Play Halifax, who are on fire, and then we play Wrexham. So, like they're not they're not like they're shooing games for us to go and win. The bottom line is for us, we need to build that momentum, make sure the boys are at it like they were on uh, Tuesday night, and, and like they were for large parts of today. And we, we we know we'll cause teams problems. But we just need to make sure that uh, we do it from the start. And two more goals for Corey today. It's good to see him continue that goal scoring. Yeah, ball. great composure as well. And uh, it's ironic because he actually had a chance, one that he put into the side net, and if he just squared it, we got Jaden's got a tap in. Um, but look, can't take nothing away from the ladies. Five, five in, I think it's seven. Yeah, five and seven. So look, that's the kind of that's the kind of centre forward form that we want, and we need to just make sure we start tidying up the other end. And the game even ended up in a bit of a flurry as well. We could have even nicked it with Cody's header right at the end. Yeah, well, I think we had, I think we had several chances. Kinsey's Kinsey's through, uh, Cody's header. Um, Wash should have squared it. Corey should have squared it. Um, Jaden pressed the keeper. We, we've had enough chances to win the game. Um, I think if we hadn't created the chances, then you, you're kind of questioning what, what we're trying to do. But I hope everyone here can see we, we, we did go for it. We did we, we wanted to win the game. We didn't settle for a point. You spoke about mentality as well, and that's something that the boys have clearly shown today as well, coming back from behind twice to get. Yeah, they're, and they're growing. They're growing with experience. That we've had we've had we have an open and frank conversation every time we, we, we finish a game. And they're, they're now saying the things that we needed we need them to be saying about the standard. This it was we weren't we weren't at our best today. We need to be better. But like I said, we've come away with four points, and if we'd have drawn on Tuesday night and won today, everyone would have probably been thinking a little bit different about the four points. But for us, it's just about the total. We wanted four points from these two games. That's what we said. And of course, looking at improvements, obviously two goals conceded to get today. Is that something that we're moving forward? You want to try and implement? Yeah, we, we, we need to get a clean sheet. We need to get one and soon because you want you want to have that confidence of knowing that if you do only get one chance you can win a game one nil and we, we, we do work it we've had a disjointed back we had it last season kept disjointed having to make changes injuries and niggles and we've had to do it again and it does take time and you know what we, we need to just get it working as quickly as we possibly can and hopefully next week at home against Halifax Town we can do that yeah we've got a Hampshire Cup first so we'll, 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 we need to see what we've got available to play that because we've got a few uh Got a few tired boy bodies in there and a few leggy lads and as much as we'd like to go as strong as we possibly can, I don't think that's gonna be on the cards because I think Halifax will take priority.
Are you in with a shot? Look below for more information. Click here for the next video. Click here to subscribe.